Ilith versus Ness. Um, I, I'm not sh not too sure what to say about this sort of matchup. <laughs> um, per perhaps I can chip in. Um, I think off stage wise, Pilot has all the the necessary tools to really like gimp Ness. Like obviously, when you have long range attacks like that, you can usually fend off people off stage. Mm -hmm. Um. I think where Ness has the advantage is probably just mobility, like just speed. Um, once Ness kind of goes in with like the Magnet or the PK Fire, really nothing much you can do as Byleth. Mm -hmm. um, the most you can do is perhaps get like an out of shield option out. Like if you're shielding, um, perhaps you could probably get up smash. Um, but aside from that, it can be really hard once Ness gets in. Yeah, Ness has that really good advantage state when most platforms, you can just like quickly do your uh, PK fire, evade, and you don't really lose much stage control. In fact, you actually gain stage control. All right, but Mudkip's gonna begin that first kill. Uh, actually, let me just check real quick. Took his jump. That was a Nobody. nice yo-yo. Oh yeah, the yo-yo just kind of interfered with the tether, okay. Yeah, so now, wow, Mudkip only took in 25, only took 25% for that first stock, and only now is New Vanguard are able to tack on some percentage. Uh, now with only a full stock deficit, Let's see what kind of uh, adjustments he can make. So right now, Mudkip is in control. I'm gonna call him PK. I don't want to say Mudkip. <laughs> <laughs> Every Ness player is PK. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I really like that new Vanquisher is starting to implement more empty hops. You can do like empty hop into tilt or sometimes just empty hop into just bait out an option. Yeah, I, really good. I, I think one of the biggest things uh, that are usually a tell of like um, more more like uh, like whole rounded players are those who use their movement as the input and that you don't have to always like go for an actual like aerial or special or something just like use your ability to pressure and just like move around your opponent to make them uncomfortable or create space yeah oh. absolutely and right now oh geez Piggy with the, the spacing getting that kill oh. now it's three stocks to one and a grab i'm gonna convert off of it Violet's uh, neutral only has two forms, right? It's just charged and it's uncharged and charged. It doesn't like scale. Well, up, up tilt going to be taking the Mudkip's first stock. Uh, uh, oh, getting some more damage. Uh, ooh, there we go. oh, all right. Didn't amount to too much, but boy, was it cool. Finding some ghosts to the right. Oh man, he keeps getting hit by that in that like same situation when he's like standing stage center and like I appreciate wanting to take center stage. Uh, so now, while you have center, please be aware that your opponent is going to do aerial PK fire from above the platform. <laughs> I beg. <laughs> So unfortunate, because you would think Stop. by maintaining center stage. Oh no! Yeah, all right. Gonna stab him right in the face. Turn it back. Oh, Bilos doesn't have a counter. Yeah, that's uh, that's a yeah. big problem. Could use one of those. Man, Fire Emblem character without a counter. You hate to see it. Well, really, you do. I'd love to see it. Anyway. Uh, New Vanquisher able to even it up to the last stock, but was it too late? No, able to come back, surviving uh, the no rate. Oh god, <laughs> that was really <laughs> scary. Dude, just normal get up and this just literally stands there with his cold dead eyes. Oh, oh, jeez, stop! Oh. All right, uh, you oh, know, okay. mm, 
Mudkip might be getting a little bit. Oh, wow, Jesus. Oh, good boy. Oh, no. Wait. On. Oh, no. That's like another stock taken from that yo yo. Where you buffer an option right after. It's really unfortunate. All right, so, uh, you know, Mudkip was kind of in control like the whole time. Uh, up until that last. That last uh, stock from Neo Vanquisher just kind of was like bringing it all back. I think, I think we might see a really different. Uh, I think we'll see a really different game too, because uh, we saw that there was a lot of adaptation from Neo Vanquisher. Just it was a little bit uh, too little, too late sort of thing. So going mm -hmm. into game two, like the data that he has on how to play the neutral, uh, we might see a different picture. But you know. Um, Mudkips probably is going to make some adaptations of his own because he saw how like he kind of started to struggle near the end. I kind of feel like he was getting a little bit desperate to get the kill and finish it off, and that made his game a little bit more linear than uh, than it was prior. So you know we're just gonna have to see how they adjust to it. I'm looking forward to this game too. Which... Yeah, absolutely. And I think I think one of the key things you need to do at leap percents is kind of just let your opponent approach because a lot of time uh, your opponent will either A, hold shield because they're scared of getting hit or number two, uh, they'll start spot dodging or doing some sort of air dodge in order to avoid attacks mm -hmm. to also avoid getting hit. And so sometimes when you're trying to go in with attacks, they can just end up punishing you right out of shield and right out of their defensive options. So usually you kind of have to wait for them to do the approach. And if they're not doing that, then that's where you kind of have to go for the grab and really benefit from that since the grab goes through shields. Um, that said though, getting a good amount of percent. Yeah, so starting game two on Smashville, uh, you know, it, it, I've heard for you know the longest time, even before Biof came out, that Smashville is a very is a fire emblem stage. So considering that it's Neo Vanquisher's counter pick, it might also be true for even Byleth. And you know, he's already putting on a ton of percent. I think it's a I think one uh, benefit from the one beneficial change from PS2 to this stage is that the the platform is in the center and so when he is keeping center, he doesn't get hit by those PK fires, which honestly was a a lot of root for a lot of losses in neutral. Actually, we won't, yeah, we won't actually even know if he was able to adapt to that because it's not even really in play. Oh, never mind. You know it's still in play. Uh, <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Ooh, but the nice falling friend. forward air through the platform is going to seal out uh, Mudkip's first stock. New Vanguisher with the first kill. Uh, you know... Last time he was only able to take his kills once he was on his last stock, so definitely seeing the those adaptation uh, from last game come into effect. Now, what can he do to kind of build on this lead, may, m solidify it? Because if he loses his stock now, he's not really gonna have a lead to come back to. Twenty percent is really is it's nothing. It's nothing. So yeah, <laughs> sadly. You know, so Mudkip, uh, you know, keeping mobile, keeping on his feet, and just. You know, he's like, man, my man just keeps getting hit by my jumping PK fires. I will continue to do it. It works. Let's go. Oh, all right. But now in an off guard, edge guard situation. That was a good angle. I like that high angle. All right. He was able to keep the edge guard going even after uh, missing uh, the down air. Just like kind of rolled with him and was catching with the up tilt. Oh, boy. I think he has PK fire blindness. That's that's what I think it is. I suppose. <laughs> I mean, I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know what that even is. <laughs> he just First doesn't see. He just doesn't see it coming, and it's just like, like just uh, just hit this whole block. It it literally extinguishes on block. Like it's not even. Maybe, maybe he just like is too used to playing against Robin or something. You know, he's a Fire Emblem character. He's just like, look at that. That one activates on shield. I can't block this one. No, no, no. Please block this one. <laughs> Ooh, all right. All right. So far, the quote-unquote PK Fire Blindness not stopping Neo Vanquisher from yeah. getting that fair and getting that kill. <laughs> yeah. 
All right, once again, New Vanquisher, he's kind of in a better position here uh, in terms of percent. Okay, not really much anymore. Again, if he's not able to uh, put on any damage, Mudkip is going to be able to put uh, bring this back uh, basically immediately. All right, I like the edge guard attempt. I like that. Wait, and ooh, oh god, everything is just terrifying right now. But once again, all right, Mudkip doing a really good job of just like holding center and keeping that pressure. I really like it. Uh, last stock, dead even, same same outcome as before. You know, 20%, nothing. Ooh, okay. Ooh, goes for the F-Smash? Okay. Look at Rian a roll right there. That That's going to put some heavy damage. And Neo Vanquisher finally blocks, or at least parries, the PK fire where this is true character development, folks. Anyway, Mudkips with a very slight percent lead, uh, able to sneak in another PK fire, but I won't blame him for that one. That one was actually, uh, you know, just they kind of jumped into each other longingly for love. Uh, uh, I suppose oh. the, the PK fire blindness is only reduced for a short amount of time. I think my man, uh, I, I think he got his prescription glasses uh, between stocks. But is it too little too late? Because now Mudkips is beginning to pull ahead in percentages here. Ooh. Oh no, I think oh, he dropped his glasses. Oh, oh ah. that was actually sick. I like the drag down up there. Oh. Careful. Ooh, I like that weight. That was good. Okay. Wow, what Go a drift. <laughs> oh. Okay, how is how is New York Victory gonna come down? Doesn't. When Kip doing the up smash to cover the ledge, but New Vanquisher jumps right above it. Yeah, it didn't get punished for it, so you know, honestly, free real estate. Go for it. Um, I, again, I think Mudkips is getting a little bit too uh, too fishy, you know? I think he's like looking for the kill to try and seal it off, and this might end up... Oh my god. No! Mudkips is actually just a genius. like the Tom Roy situation but in nest form just like get dominated in neutral for a long time period and then just let the opponent somehow die wow it's a mess of scenario <laughs> this is a copy paste version of the Tom Roy scenario with a lot less SDs but yeah if SDs <laughs> were the equivalent of getting hit by PK fire then absolutely um, but yeah that final one just the runoff Nair my <sighs> You know, I, like I said, I thought that uh, Mudkip was getting a little bit too, like, hungry to get that kill. And I thought Neil Vanquisher was going to, like, be able to capitalize on it. But unfortunately, um, I think he got... I think because of PK, uh, Mudkip kind of rushing him, it kind of got him going extra fast, too. And it kind of maybe put him a little bit outside of his comfort zone. And he was just like, I need to make this happen right now. I need to make this happen right now. Idiot! No, goodbye!